Moderna on Thursday asked you. S. Regulators to authorize low doses of its COVID-19 vaccine for children younger than 6, a long-awaited move toward potentially opening shots for millions of tots by summer. Frustrated families are waiting impatiently for a chance to protect the nation's littlest kids as all around them people shed masks and other public health precautions, even though highly contagious coronavirus mutants continue to spread. Moderna submitted data to the Food and Drug Administration that it hopes will prove two low-dose shots can protect babies, toddlers and preschoolers, albeit not as effectively during the Omicron surge as earlier in the pandemic. There is an important unmet medical need here with these youngest kid. Two kid size shots will safely protect them. I think it is likely that over time they will need additional doses. But we're working on that. Now, only children ages 5 or older can be vaccinated in the U.S. using rival Pfizer's vaccine, leaving 18 million younger tots unprotected. Moderna's vaccine isn't the only one in the race. Pfizer is soon expected to announce if three of its even smaller dose shots work for the littlest kids, months after the disappointing discovery that two doses weren't quite strong enough. Whether it's one company's shots or both, FDA vaccine chief Dr. Peter Marks said the agency will move quickly without sacrificing our standards in deciding if tot size doses are safe and effective. While questions are swirling about what's taking so long, Marx pointedly told lawmakers earlier this week that the FDA can't evaluate a product until a manufacturer completes its application. In a statement Thursday, the FDA said Moderna still must submit some additional data to complete its request, but that the agency will schedule a meeting to publicly debate the evidence with its scientific advisors. It's critically important that we have the proper evaluation so that parents will age. If FDA clears vaccinations for the littlest, next the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention would have to recommend who needs them, all tots or just those at higher risk from COVID-19. Many parents are desperate for whichever vaccine gets to the scientific finish line first. We've been kind of left behind as everybody else moves on," said Megan Dunphy Daly, a Duke University marine biologist whose six-year-old daughter is vaccinated, but whose three-year-old and 18-month-old sons are. The family continues to mask and take other precautions until it's clear if the boys got real vaccine or dummy shots. If it turns out they weren't protected in the Pfizer study and Moderna's shots are cleared first, Dunphy Daly said she'd seek them for her sons. <laughs>